What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. And yes, the title is true. We're going to pick up a 6.4 liter Power Stroke diesel today. Yeet. Here he is. What's going on? Oh, we're getting this in a in a video. Oh yeah. So it's been, it's been a long time since Dalton's been in a video. I think probably since the 7.3 video, like three years ago. It's been, a, it's been a minute. How's how's sure. that project going? Not good. It's still a frame. Uh, cab's just sitting on the truck. That ain't going nowhere. So to answer that, we're gonna go buy a different truck. So, yeah. No. You guys didn't think I was buying a six four, did you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sure you didn't want a six seven? I ain't got six seven money, or else I would be getting a six seven. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> So what made you decide on your first big vehicle purchase being a 6.4 liter power stroke? Um, I don't know, I guess I'm 19 years old and I'm dumb. <laughs> so uh, when I was going to get an F-150, like King Ranch F-150, a 5 liter was kind of planned. And then Saturday I got bored, I'm like, I'm going to go look around for trucks, ran down here and saw this truck in great shape. It, the truck's in really good shape, it's a southern truck, one owner. Um, saw the price they wanted for it and I'm like you know what I think I fit well on this thing so that's what we're gonna go with so you've been pre-warned about the 6.4 and all its stuff so you guys drop in the comments what do you guys think about purchasing a 6.4 liter oh, in 2024 here we after go. we know or we already know things <laughs> now so Dalton's still trying to convince me that this is a good idea not a great idea, but I don't think it's a terrible idea. In his mind, this truck is going to run great forever. No, no, absolutely not. But for right now, it runs good. It runs good. Right now, it runs good because he doesn't have it. Hey, that's sure. <laughs> it did a check over on the thing, test drove it. Yeah. It's like a top. Oh, they run great when they're at the dealership. <laughs> but if it ends up on a hook on the first, the first run, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Making me nervous. Maybe it'll be good. Making me nervous. It'll be good. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? You now saying it'll be good and it'll be fine is making me more nervous than you saying nope. Oh no, it'll it'll be it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, let's hope so. Next clip just cuts it on a rollback. <laughs> they look great on the back of a tow truck. We're coming up. All right, so paperwork is done. Dalton has a loan now. Care to tell him how that went? Great, you know, real low interest, and you know, I have an 850 credit score, and we're perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> so he's planning on paying this loan off early because the interest rate kind of sucks. The interest rate really sucks. So in 2024, what's the interest rate nowadays for uh, for a 19 year old with the entry level credit? 26 percent, baby. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. He's still feeling good about the truck, though. I am. Spirits are high. I am. Spirits are high. A after that encounter, not happy with that, but the truck, I can't wait. He's to not going to think about the interest rate. He's just going to yeah. think about the truck. Exactly. It's like buying my toolbox all over again. Exactly. Yep. If I was going to sit here and be completely responsible, my life would be boring. <laughs> I'll say that. My life would suck. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right. So we are here. And there she is. There she is. The Lariat, the 2008 6.4 liter with the PAP cap. It's coming off. As soon as it gets home, it's coming off. Oh yeah. So we will be following along. We'll do a little walk around here, check this thing out, go for a little rip. And uh, yeah, we'll see see how this journey goes. But this is day one, day one of payments for Dalton. Yup, and of owning a 6.4 power shirt. Oh yeah. Yup, here we go. Tires. Probably gonna need some skins here. These are down to the wear bars. She's got all that torque with that diesel. Whether they're brand new tires or not, they're going. This thing needs to be on 35. Oh yeah. I do like these style door handles though. You got the wood grain. We got the Lariat interior. It smells kind of like cinnaberry. Cinnaberry tree in here. She's also getting got front window tint you even got the letters on the dash all fancy like no center console you got the, the center seat yes sir she is a 6.4 super duty 
It's even got a decal on the hood here. 6.4 power stroke. I mean, a lot of the signs of the truck, I mean, it looks like somebody older owned it. Stock wheels, still has both original keys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's got all kinds of emotions when you see the underhood of the 6.4. <laughs> There's so much in there. Don't look too shabby, though. Well, we got a little coolant. That might also be from the what? From my father. Oh, I thought you said from the fire. I was like, oh no. <laughs> All right, first start up. Just like that, I feel better about my decision. <laughs> at least, at least it's running for now. All right. Well, why, why we gotta do this? <laughs> you know we gotta do that. Hey, I got power tow beers. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> they were good for seeing the tow truck come. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Power windows. You got a six disc changer. Yeah, baby, he's throwing it all the way back to 08. And then my favorite part. Oh, Power slider. So Dalton made it home, but I smell brakes. It's got new pads on it. Yeah, that say she's pretty warm. Probably got a sticky caliper. It's a good thing you got a shop to work in. This is a great first episode. <laughs> so Dalton buys his truck within the first drive home of about 20 minutes. He's already pulling out the tools, and he wants to go to the beach tonight with it. So yeah, I guess it's beach. I guess it's crunch time. Yeah, I'd say she's a little warm. AutoZone trip complete. We got all new brakes for the rear. Yep. Let's go slap her on. And new brakes achieved. All right, so brakes are fixed. Now, why not do a couple mods? Like, get rid of the pap cap. So this cap is super heavy, so we have the tranny jack in the back here. We're just gonna put a piece of wood on there, get this thing up, we'll get it on the lift. I mean, it's still 6'4", but it looks a whole lot better. Does it look a lot better? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, way better. She is indeed ready to roll now. All right, so take two. Take two. We've got brand new brakes. The back cap is removed. Window decals are removed. Now it's a race car. Now it's modded and ready to go, and hopefully the brakes don't fail and we die. Let's hope. She rips. Absolute ripper. Everyone in Berks County, Pennsylvania, you better watch your girlfriends. I'm coming for them. Especially if they're over the age of 40. <laughs> We got new pads, we got new calipers, we got new flex hoses. Little six foe action. Sing rips, I love the shrunk. Little bit of a step up from a two three ranger. Just a, just a smidge. A little bit more power, huh? 
little bit. A lot better sounding, I can tell you that. Wait until you gotta fill it up with fuel. We're not gonna talk about that part. <laughs> We got a nice clean back window. No more pap cap, and he's thinking about taking the steps off too. And it's a decent looking rig. Get some nice tires on it, and we'll keep everybody updated as time goes on. Yeah, baby, keep that hammer down.